A picture-perfect day at the Vandenberg Air Force Base in California set the stage for the launch of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off the Falcon 9. The launch went off without a hitch. A stark contrast to a similar attempt four months ago when a rocket carrying a Facebook satellite ended in disaster. A probe found the cause of the blast was a failed pressure vessel in a liquid oxygen tank. But with no issues this time, Falcon 9 successfully delivered 10 commercial satellites for the voice and data company Iridium. SpaceX is contracted to launch 60 more Iridium satellites by 2018. Adding to the mission's success was the return and clean landing of the Falcon 9 rocket to a drone ship off the coast of California. This was a giant win for SpaceX, which, according to a recent Wall Street Journal report, experienced $260 million in losses in 2015, after a rocket bound for the International Space Station exploded. But CEO Elon Musk is determined to forge ahead and colonize Mars. So how do we figure out how to, how to take you to Mars um, and, and, and create a, a self-sustaining city, a, a city that um, is not merely an outpost but can become a planet in its own right um, and for us Thus, we could become a truly multi-planet species. This is a peek into how SpaceX plans to do just that. So what you saw there is, is really uh, quite close to what we will actually build. Um, it will look almost exactly what you saw, like what you saw. SpaceX isn't the only player in the Mars game. China, which is aggressively building its space program, plans to launch a mission to the Red Planet by 2020. So the space race is on. And for SpaceX, January 14th, 2017, marks another successful milestone in that mega journey to the stars and beyond. Mei Lee, CGTN, Los Angeles.